It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Sainsbury's. It's part of their selected by our experts range of beers. Uh, specially selected, I thought it used to be, but never mind, on we go. Ah, no, it's Taste the Difference. All of these supermarkets have a little kind of, their own little chime, whether it be Asda, Extra Special, Taste the Difference. They've all got their little kind of like premium quality brands that they, they love to show off. Uh, this beer has been brewed by Badger in Blanford in Dorset. It's 4.5% ABV and it's called Hop Cross Bun Ale. Subtle hints of nutmeg and cinnamon, 4.5% ABV in a 500 milliliter dark brown bottle. There we go. It looks good, looks good. And um, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Oh, the other thing as well, nice bit of smoke on the bottle up there. But the other thing was, I've got my receipt. It was £1.65. £1.65 as of, what are we talking now? 2023, March 2023. So this is the second beer I've had from Sainsbury's and Badger in the space of two days. I had a really good coronation beer from Sainsbury's. I thought it was fantastic. Made by Badger, 7% ABV, brewed for the coronation of King Charles in May, May 17th, something like that. But that's worth going to Sainsbury's for on its own right. That coronation beer is fantastic. Anyway, uh, two finger white, slightly off white head on this one. Uh, good levels of carbonation rolling up the middle of the glass. Yeah, it's an amber, a deep amber coloured beer that is clear. There's no sediment in here whatsoever. Uh, let's get the aroma. There's definitely a little bit of that cinnamon and nutmeg which they've mentioned and it does indeed smell like a hot cross bun the hops are going to be those traditional british hops i would say we'll have a look at that in a moment but it smells good there's a little bit of honey here Bit of honey in the beer. It smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's good. Really good. Nice little sprig of carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. It's got a little bit of a rich, creamy mouthfeel to it. You definitely get that kind of hot cross bun. That little bit of citrus. That cinnamon, that nutmeg. Spicy. <clears throat> Spicy and peppery on the back end. I very much doubt being Badger I don't think I've ever had a bottle conditioned beer from Badger, so I very much doubt this will be a bottle conditioned beer. But this is a nice step change. <clears throat> I keep on saying Badger, it's, it's Sainsbury's really who have kind of come up with this idea of making a hot cross bun ale and, <clears throat> pardon me, and then kind of approaching, sometimes they'll work with Shepherd Neem. Supermarkets work with Shepherd Neem. There's, there's large breweries in the UK that will definitely contract brew. For a long time, a company, uh, say Shepherd Neem, for example, down in Kent, they brewed um, Samuel Adams Boston Lager. 
all for the UK, all for the UK market. As far as I know, they might still be bought, brewing and bottling that beer for um, Sam Adams. Also, Shep and Neem do a lot of kind of supermarket beer. They work with um, Little and Aldi on their own range of beers. But this this is a, a slightly different... It's the same thing. <coughs> it's contract brewing from Badger for Shepherd uh, for, for Sainsbury's. It's it's contract brewed by Badger for Sainsbury's. But this has a nice level of quality to it, a really nice level of quality to it. That it's a nice step change. Um, I've really enjoyed the last two Badger beers I've reviewed, and to be honest with you. I haven't been able to say that about Badger for a long time. Although, although, Badger did contact me a few months ago and they sent me a bottle of their milk made. I say a few months ago, it was 11 months ago they, they sent that, that to me last April. It's March 2023, 11 months ago, they sent me their milkmaid. And that was, to be honest, that was a pretty decent um, milk stout, that one. So perhaps Badger then are feeling the heat from maybe other supermarket companies now. Newer supermarket companies like Norse, Magic Rock, Northern Monk. Maybe these newer companies, these younger brewers who can be of have kind of jumped on their patch a little bit with supermarket beer. And they've really had to kind of up their game. They've really had to go, hey, hang on a minute. Let's go back to what we used to do greatly. And that would produce really good beer in the supermarket. Because when I first started drinking Badger beer, before I ever reviewed beer in 2006, 2007, they used to make some terrific beer. Really, really good beer did Badger. <clears throat> and I always liked it. This is good. It's got a fantastic mouthfeel. You get that kind of quality malt on the back end. It's a bit biscuity, it's a bit bready. Then you get the, the hops on the back end. There's some pepperiness and spiciness from the, of course, that cinnamon. What else do they add? Cinnamon and nutmeg. And then there's a bitterness from those British hops. It's a, it's a really well-made beer, especially for £1.65. It's a real bargain. This is a real bargain to be had. But I suppose the, the, the only issue I would say is, is if you don't like cinnamon, if you don't like nutmeg, then this might not be for you. But I, I, I love those spices. I love cinnamon and nutmeg. So there's no, there's no reason for me not to love this beer. So, I, I wondered if they put the hops in here. Oh, it's really nice. Honey flavour's coming through now. A real hot cross bun flavour. Right, uh, an easy drinking beer with robust bready notes brewed in the heart of Dorset. The toasted mob base provides hints of caramel and dried fruit, producing colour and flavour reminiscent of hot cross buns. It does. This deep amber ale has notes of spice, nutmeg and cinnamon, and dried fruit and pairs well with delicious pulled pork and carrot cake served lightly chilled. There aren't any ingredients in here but I would imagine they are traditional British hops that have been used in the beer. If you've got a Sainsbury's local to you go find that. Go and find that. It might be the best £1.65 you've spent on a beer this side of Christmas. It's really good. Nice lacing, nice look to the beer, nice deep amber colour, good aroma, well behaved beer, nice aroma, lovely taste. I'm very impressed with that one, very impressed. I like it enough to give it a Stone of Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.